Assalamu alaikum, I am engineer Hamna Shakil. In this video, we will learn how to plot sieve analysis data of fine and coarse aggregate. First, I am going to start with the fine aggregate, so the end result shall look like this. On the left side, you can see that I have a table that has ASTM C33 finer and coarser limit for fine aggregates. It has test result or test data for material retained. And in the last three columns, you have the calculated data. Let me just grab this plot and place it here and make a new plot from scratch. So go to insert. In the chart, select scatter with smooth lines. Click on select data. Add. First series that I want to add is ASTM C33 final limit. So I'm going to select that cell. In the X value, I want sieve sizes in millimeter. In Y values, I want these limits. Click on OK. Click on add again. The second series that I want to add is ASTM C33 coarser limit. On the X axis, I want sieve sizes in millimeter. And for Y axis, select this list of coarser limit. Click OK. In the third series, I want to add test results. So I'm going to type here test result. X value again is sieve sizes. And for Y value, select the cumulative percent passing that you have calculated from the test results. Click OK and OK. So you can see that three graphs have been plotted but they do not look like the end result that we want. So we have to further do some work on the graph. Select the chart, click on this plus icon, check this axis title, check this chart title, in the grid line, select primary minor horizontal axis and primary minor vertical axis. Check this legend option and place the legend at the bottom. Click on this chart title and type the name of the plot. So this plot is as per ASTM C136 sieve analysis of fine aggregates. Then click on this axis title for y axis and type cumulative percent passing. Then click on this axis title for horizontal axis and type sieve size, comma millimeter. Right click on the chart area, select format chart area. From the options here, select Horizontal value axis major grid lines and change the color of the grid line to a darker color so that it's clearly visible. Then select horizontal value axis minor grid lines. I'm going to change its color as well. Then select vertical value axis major grid line, change its color. Then vertical value axis minor grid lines and change its color. Once you're done, go to the horizontal value axis option. From here, select the axis option. Open the axis options. Select log logarithmic scale. So you can see that the x axis calibration has changed to logarithmic scale and select the values in reverse order so it starts from the maximum value and at, ends at the minimum value. And you can see here that the y axis has come here in the mid of the graph. I want this y axis to be on the leftmost side. So I'm going to select the option of vertical axis crosses maximum axis value. So you can see that the y axis has shifted to leftmost side. Now go to the option of series test result go to the fill and line option change the line color to black 
go to marker option in the marker option select built in option of circular markers and in the fill options select the option of solid fill and change its color to black again go to the option of series stm final limit in the line option change its color to red and change the dash type to dotted line similarly select the series stm c33 coarser limit change its color to red and change the dash type to some other type of line once you're done close this you can change the size of the heading select the chart title go to home and increase its size similarly if you want to increase the size of axis title select that and increase its size similarly for x axis axis title you can increase its size you can also increase the size of this calibration text you can do the same for y axis you can also increase the size of the legend and your plot for see when analysis of fine aggregates is done now for the coarse aggregate again on the left hand side we have a table having astm c33 finer and coarser limits test result and the calculated result we have to plot a graph like this so i'm going to again decrease its size and place it over here go to insert select scatter with smooth lines option select data add first series is astm final limit x axis values are size in millimeter y axis values are astm final limit click on okay add again next series is astm c33 coarser limit for x axis value select sieve sizes in millimeter for y axis value select astm c33 coarser limits okay click on add again this time the series name is test result x axis is again sieve size in millimeter y axis values are cumulative percent passing click on okay okay click on this plus icon check axis title chart title in the grid lines check on primary minor horizontal and primary minor vertical axis check this legend and place the legend at the bottom right click on the chart area format chart area select the option of axis major grid lines i'm going to change its color then horizontal axis minor grid lines change its color then vertical axis major grid line change its color and vertical value axis minor grid line change its color then select the horizontal value axis select the axis option in the axis option change the x axis scale to logarithmic scale select values in reverse order and click on vertical axis crosses as maximum axis value make one more change in the bounds set the minimum value as 4 because the minimum sieve size is 4.75 so i'm going to take the minimum value on x axis as 4 and take the maximum value as 
the maximum size of sieve is 37.5 mm so i'm going to take the maximum value as 40 from the option select series test result click on fill and line change the line color to black click on marker in the marker options select the option of circular marker in the fill option select solid fill and change its color to black then go to STM C33 finer limit click on fill and line change the color to red change the dash type to dotted then select on the coarser limit change the color to red change the dash type to another type of dotted close this now if you realize you can see that these values are actually the coarser limit and these values are the finer limits. The heading of the two columns have been mixed up. So if you want to make the change in the middle, you can simply change its heading to finer limit and you can change its heading to coarser limit. And the correction will automatically be made here in the legend. Because when you were selecting the data, you selected these headings at the, as the title. So if you make any changes in the headings, those will be reflected here in the legend. So now I have made the correction. Let's type the chart title. So this plot is as per ASTM C33 sieve analysis of course aggregates on the x axis you have sieve size in millimeter and on the y axis you have cumulative percent passing so if you want to change the size of the heading you can do that if you want to change the size of the axis titles you can do that if you want to change the size of the legend you can do that you can do the same for the calibration of the axis. So the plot for sieve analysis of course aggregate is done.